and new at six. The next time skiers head to Winter Park, they're going to notice something new out there. The resort just installed these new digital screens on some of the chairlifts up there. Matt Croshel live at Winter Park Forest Night to explain why they need this new technology, Matt. Karen, good evening. Winter Park is bustling tonight. A lot of folks came up here chasing the epic snow from the last week, and they're also encountering some of that brand new technology up on the mountain. <laughs> this isn't like a lift you've ever been on before. This is the first of its kind throughout the entire world. Real time mountain Perfect. conditions. Dude, it's awesome. I love it, man. You get up here, you got nothing to do but ride. You can check out where you want to go. I love it. CDOT web traffic cameras showing your paths home, all on iPad sized screens built right into the safety bar. I don't freeze my hand to have to look at this map on here to <laughs> yeah, find seriously. out where we're going once we get up to the top. So it's it's uh it's pretty cool. They even have webcams so you can actually see pictures of you know Idaho Springs, I-70, Eisenhower. Um, and how much time it's going to take to get back. Alpine Media Technology is a true Colorado company with the patented concept. They hope the test this season at Winter Park will help them convince resorts elsewhere to add the system there. Just kind of creating that sort of communication that can really, our, our guests can really utilize and, and really tap into. As we ride Mary Jane Super Gauge Express, it's not hard to see that people are responding well to the idea. This is 22nd century stuff. I'm going back to the old day of skiing where you just had a cold metal seat and a metal pole and that was about it. <laughs> this is pretty high class. For now, the screens are only installed on a handful of these chairs, but in the future, they could become as commonplace as the safety bar they rest on. Winter Park sees the technology as a way to also be able to communicate emergency messages if there's missing skiers, information like that directly to skiers as they're waiting on those chairlifts. We're live in Winter Park tonight, Matt Croshel covering Colorado First.